Sometimes people don't understand what eczema is. There's little boys that call me names and I don't like when they do it. The biggest challenge for me, having a child with eczema, is keeping on top of the eczema. I don't think I had any understanding of eczema before I had Dominic. I just thought it was a skin condition that made people itchy. I didn't really think about it that much. We didn't know very much about eczema before Emma got it. When she was about six months old, we noticed she was getting dry patches of skin around her wrists and knees. But eventually it started to spread right throughout her whole body and we were understandably alarmed by this. The worst thing is I can't sleep because I need to get up and itch and it's really hard. We didn't know anybody else that had uh, this condition, so a colleague at work actually suggested that we went online to see if there was a support organisation. And when I did that, I discovered that Eczema Outreach Scotland had recently been formed. We received a welcome pack. It was amazing. Um, there was a book in there which is about the animals and it shows you that the animals don't scratch. So for Charmaine and her being so young, that book seems to have taught her that you don't scratch. She rubs her skin instead of scratching it and now since reading the book. In the welcome pack, I got a squidgy toy, a book and the leaflets. I got loads of information out of them. And there's also a dog in there which has sort of different patches of skin over him. He's got his own me creams and she loves it because putting cream on could be a challenge. But now that she's got that dog, it's fun. She puts the cream on her dog and I put the cream on her. So I love it, it's brilliant. They provide wonderful activities. I really enjoyed the rock climbing because I've always wanted to do it. And then it came out in Scotland gave me the opportunity to do it. I really enjoyed it. We attended the craft session that had like a wee, a wee special suit on and um, they were making canvases and pictures and she had a ball, loved it. She said there was other wee kids who've all got special skin as well so I think that was nice for her that she's not the only kid with special skin. It's been quite handy for us because we've met other families that have been through the situation we're in and some good news stories coming out of that which gives us a bit of hope. It's really useful being in contact with the charity, having someone to talk to, sharing tips getting advice and learning more stuff, you know, they've got in talks with dermatologists, cream samples. It's brilliant to have that option and that opportunity to do that because there's a lot to learn. The dermatologist was able to give us more facts and more info on eczema. As well as these days out, they asked us to take part in a scrapbook. Well, this is my picture of me being attacked by monsters. I felt really happy that people would see it. Charmaine goes to nursery twice a week and with the nursery we worked along with them and made a care plan for Charmaine. So we've got a basic monitoring of her eczema and then if she's particularly bad then we've got another care plan for that as well. So we've shown them how to apply the creams, how to apply the bandages and the actual pace. So I'm confident that they'll be able to carry out the instructions. The group's actually given me the strength to fight for Dominic. It makes it more of a something to cope with. It was great for us to meet parents from all over Scotland that were dealing with the same problems that we had. Having Eczema Outreach Scotland, um, finding that charity and having them in our lives, it's definitely going to help my journey. I feel I've still got a lot to learn in managing the eczema. It's really good to know that I've got that there.